Yeah, so I want to ask you like uh, about the placement and the hiring process that you went through like at Georgia Tech. Okay. What was it like? I mean, was it initial screening interviews? Like what do you, what are being evaluated in interviews? Yeah, so um, specifically for Deloitte, it was first thing was uh, resume screening, right? So they'd go through resumes and pick the ones that they think would fit. And then they'd call you in for an in-person interview, first, first round. And that would be, um, uh, for me, it was with two people. One of them was a, a manager in data science, and the other person was a manager in the consulting track, right? Uh, and so uh, what my interview, primarily the questions were around, can you explain a project that you've done in detail, right? And so what they look for in that is how much of the whole thing do you know? And does it, do you know the nuances of it? They might ask you, okay, you did that. Can you explain more about that? And how would you solve a specific problem in that? Uh, because they might be familiar with that kind of a problem as well. And so the detail in your response and the coherence in your uh, story, I mean, w what you tell them and the clarity in that. So uh, for example, the, the manager that I had in consulting, uh, she was like, specifically she, told me at the beginning of the interview, don't tell me any uh, data science jargon or uh, technical jargon. Uh, tell me things as if you're talking to a, a lay person in terms of a business value, dollar amount or an impact. I affected so many people and saved like five minutes of their time or some such, uh, some metrics like that, which others can understand. So uh, being able to communicate in that terms as well about the work that you've done. Uh, so that was the first round. And then uh, in the second round, you'd have a, technical interview with uh, another like senior data scientist uh, they would you know uh, maybe ask uh, drill down into a specific model or a technique uh, and even then most of the time it's about what you claim to know if you know that or not is mostly what they're trying to evaluate right it's not like uh, they won't catch you off guard and ask you to derive back propagation or some such something that's super complex and put you on the spot that's not the intent uh, so if you know the fundamentals really well, that's definitely one thing. And then another thing is if you claim to know something or have used a certain thing for maybe a, a three, four month project, then you're expected to know it in a, a fair amount of detail. And so that is something that they've checked. And also besides that interview, it also had two others, one with, uh, uh, you know, uh, something like, you know, what you would call uh, I don't know what that kind of person, like a HR interview where uh, they'd ask you if you got in a uh, situation where you had an argument with your manager and what you do and that kind of questions. So there was one interview for that. And then there was this 15 minute chat with the partner. Uh, so that would be the partner that I uh, eventually get hired, the team that I get hired into that the, the partner would probably lead that team. And uh, yeah, so the that one would again be about very broad strokes, right? So why are you in this field? Why are you uh, trying to join this firm? Like what you have in mind, does that align with what the firm wants to do and so on. And so they, those are like different levels of um, abstraction about what you would be doing. Uh, and yeah, I think uh, at least so far as I know, many of the other consulting firms kind of follow a similar thing where you have a partner interview, you have some interviews which are technical, some which are not. Uh, and then I, as at least the ones that I know of the, the tech interviews might say, for example, if it's a Microsoft interview, they would really start with maybe algorithms based questions or data structures based questions, even if you're a data science person. So uh, you, you're expected to know that kind of thing, at least to a certain degree before you attend uh, those interviews. Um, yeah, and I think most companies would have a, a resume screening and also at least there, uh, during career fair, you get to kind of go talk to someone who works in that company. And uh, even if it, even if your resume is not something that stands out and catches their attention, if you, when in, in your conversation with that person, if you're kind of able to convey that, you know, you have so, something that's valuable to them or something that's uh, pretty interesting or uh, that you would be a valuable addition to their team somehow, uh, and it convinces them, then you might get an interview call as well. 